Hi, I'm Di. Welcome to my home and garden. Now, we're in the kitchen today. We're not so much cooking today. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're looking, Christmas is coming up. Let's start thinking about it now. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing a series of these videos. So if you want to make sure that uh, you don't miss any, um, hit the subscribe button and ding, ding, ding on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So I am going to be doing quite a few things leading up to Christmas. But the first that we're doing today is um, just a little gift that you can make. Quite simple, but very well appreciated. So this is um, cookies in a jar. So basically we're making the basic cookie recipe uh, with all the dry ingredients. And then there's a little label attached and it gives the instructions on how to make them. And of course the recipient does need to add some uh, wet ingredients. So um, let's get on with it. These are the ingredients that we're going to be using. We're using brown sugar, granulated sugar, bicarb soda, um, or you may know it as baking soda, salt, plain flour, and some chocolate chips. With the chocolate chips, you can choose the dark chocolate, the milk chocolate, or even white chocolate. Along with that, we're using a large jar. So um, if you want, you can use a one quart mason jar, but these are nice jars that I got from uh, Kmart and it was $7 for the three. And you can see they've got a lovely little Christmas decoration on it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our flour, our salt and our bicarb. We're going to measure those out and put them all in a bowl. So we want one and three quarter cups of flour. Okay, so baking soda. We want three quarters of a teaspoon. So there's a half. Sorry, that's a quarter. No, that's a half. And that's a quarter. And the same of salt. So we've got our quarter and our half. So once we've got all those ingredients, we'll just give them a mix. And then that's the first layer that we're going to put into our jar. A wide mouth funnel here to get this into my jar. And And I'll just spoon that in there. It does not want to go down, there we go. Right, that's our first layer in. So there's our first layer in our jar. And <clears throat> I'll just tap that down and make it even. Now, the next thing to go in
are our chocolate chips. So there we have our chocolate chips in the jar. Now the next thing we need is our brown sugar and then our granulated sugar. Okay, the next thing that we're adding to our jar Okay, the next thing we're adding to our jar is our brown sugar. Let's get that through our little funnel. Now, it looks like we're running out of space there, but the brown sugar will pack down quite a lot. So just use a spoon, pack it down. And that will help to keep all those ingredients there from moving around. So make sure you get it nice and even around there. And then we can add our last ingredient, which is half a cup of granulated sugar. So we'll just measure that out. So that's just ordinary sugar. Um, and we're just adding that, that's our last. And, oh, it's gone over the top. There we go. There wasn't much spilt, so it's mostly there. Now, it's filled right to the top, which is what you want because you don't want those, in those ingredients moving around. So we'll put our lid on it. Everything's nice and secure. You can see how nice that looks with all those layers. And... We'll label it and I'll bring you back and show you the label. And here we have it. Here's our finished product. So I've put a little topper on there. That's just a little bit of fabric that I had. So I've tied that on. You don't need to put that on your jar. You can just leave it the way you wanted, but I just wanted to decorate a little bit more. There's your jar and here's a tag. So on that tag, I've uh, got Merry Christmas from Dyes Home and Garden. It's not. And then on the other side, I've got the recipe, how to cook it, and it just continues on a little bit onto the other side. Now, other things that you could do with that if you had a nice little Christmas decoration, you could actually tie that onto your string as well. Just decorate it a little bit more. And particularly if you just have a plain jar and there's nothing on the front, just on that string, just, um, just a nice little Christmas decoration, maybe some bells or even tie, tie tinsel around the top. There's endless possibilities of how you can decorate that for Christmas. Now this doesn't have to be just a Christmas gift. You could make this at any time of the year to give to anyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. I hope that you enjoyed that and perhaps you'd like to give it a go. Uh, there are other recipes available. So if you um, Google it, you'll find other things that you can actually put in a jar. Again, the same principle, all the dry ingredients and then the recipient adds the wet ingredients. But have a look and I'd love to hear comments of different ones that you do. So be sure to leave me a comment down below. Now, all the um, ingredients are listed in the description. So have a look down there if you want more details. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.